some glue, four clamps, she ready to sit. Get out my sacrificial surface. Top of my workbench is pretty well hammered anyways. But I'm trying to keep as much of the glue off of it as possible. Whenever you're gluing PVC, you want to put primer on it. The primer cleans it and also gives it a little bit of tooth for the glue to catch a hold of. Kind of presets the glue. This bottle of purple primer is just about gone. I think we're not going to use that on the next part. We'll grab up this new one. Somebody close that at the factory. But we have tools for the, such things. It's supposed to be a lot lighter in color. I think the other stuff had boiled down to the point where about all that was left was the purple and not much of the primer. My son asked me once why that we had to put this purple stuff on the pipe every time. It always showed and it looked ugly. And I said, so the inspector, when he comes to look at your plumbing, can say, yes, they did use primer. And I said, you always want to use a bunch of it because you want the guy to see it. And don't try faking the guy out and saying, well, I'll put the primer on after I put the glue on. The primer doesn't show on the glue. So when he looks at the glue, if he doesn't see primer underneath the glue, in other words, a nice clear spot is left on top where the glue is, and he knows that you put the primer on afterwards. Besides which, it's an easy thing to do. It doesn't take any time at all. And it makes the, the glue work so much better. It's not one of those things like hair color where, or hair shampoo where they say, uh, Put a little bit on your hair and then rinse and repeat. That was the single best marketing plan in the world because it doubled the sales of soap, of shampoo, almost immediately. This is a case where it actually does some good. Most laws when it comes to the trade precedent based. Somebody looked at it and tried it and either it worked and they said let's do this again or it didn't and they said well this won't ever work. This glue is pretty well set up too. If I wasn't doing this simple little job I think I'd stop, wait and go get another. Can't but this should work just fine.
good enough for what it's for. This can of glue kind of highlights one of the problems that I have with PVC cement. Once you open the can, it tends to dry out. And once it dries out, it's nowhere near as effective. You always want to put it on and twist it a bit. You want to smear that cement around. Okay, went and got a different can of PVC cement. much nicer. You got to push it on and then hold it for a second. The other stuff was pretty sticky so I didn't have to do the hold it bit but with cement that's in good shape if you don't hold it it'll push right back off. Now I have to let the apparatus set and dry, but I'll be able to put the vinegar in, and if I need to, dump out one piece out of the vinegar, leave the other one standing, or take both of them out. That should sit just fine. I cut one a little bit long, because as I was building it, I thought, wouldn't it be nice to be able to take one of these big auger bits? and put it in the vinegar and take the rust off. Because you can reach in there with a wire brush and take it off, but pain in the butt. So, now I leave everything to dry. Let's see, we've fixed uh, an auger bit. We've cut some PVC pipe. We glued it together, made a base, a whole lot of work. And it's all because I wanted to take the rust off of a file. It would fit the bit that I had. But from now on, whenever I want to do a file, or deep rust one of these giant auger bits, I've got the tools. So future jobs will take less time. And I ended up with a nice sharp adjustable auger bit. Never hurts to do tools within tools within tools. Hi, I'm Old Sneelock. You've been watching me make a new fixture for the workshop. It's a way to take the rust off of parts. Uh, I usually use electrolysis in the summertime, but in the wintertime it's kind of nice to be able to put the vinegar bath down here in the basement. I don't want to do electrolysis because of the hydrogen released. Vinegar doesn't seem to cause any problems and it doesn't smell bad as long as you use apple cider vinegar. So this is kind of a throw together piece to see how it works. Uh, I think it's going to be just fine. 
I'll probably trim it up and clean up the base a bit. Might even throw a little varnish on it, who knows. But it's going to do exactly what I want it to do, which is the whole idea of the thing. Jigs don't have to be fancy, they just have to work. Thanks a lot for watching. Old Sneelock here again. Thanks for watching. Have you subscribed yet? If you enjoyed the video, please take a moment and click the thumbs up.